In this video, I want to break down how to use a formula to find duplicate values in a column. But let's take a step back and remember the context of this table. We have a table of products, and product code must be unique. None of these codes should repeat. And we can see that in rows 7 and 10, these codes are repeating. That's why they are duplicates. We are finding duplicates with this formula. Let's work from the inside out. So the inside is saying in the products table, look up in all of these records, match when the product code equals the product code. So it's saying how many records um, have the same product code. And then if there's more than one of those, return dupe, otherwise return nothing. So let's break that down by building the formula one piece at a time. So first, let's start with the innermost part of the formula, which is the lookup. What happens if we just add the lookup as a formula? So here, what we are seeing is which records have a share a product. So the code BT is in record one. This is the record ID, not the row enumeration. So let me show you what happens if I were to sort the description. So now I'm sorting this alphabetically, and you can see that the number orders here have changed. BT is still the first one alphabetically when I'm sorting by the description, um, but you can see BA was six, um, CH is eight. So this is the actual record ID, which is different from this uh, the row enumeration over here. I'm gonna go ahead and um, revert. So here we can see that GC occurs in records seven and 10. If I were to add another GC, you can see it's now seven, 10 and 11. With this formula, you technically have enough information to determine which of these records are dupes and which ones aren't. If it matches once, if there's only one record here, then there is no dupe. If there's more than one, then there is a dupe. But this isn't very pretty to work with. And if you had a lot of data, it would be a bit of a headache to very quickly find dupes. That's why the next part of the formula is len for length of string. With this formula, we're going to count how many records match a product code. So here you can see BT, FR, those are all one, but GC, which we know are in 7, 10, and 11, appear three times. So len is turning that ugly looking list of records into a number. This still isn't very handy to work with because you know that one means there is no duplicate, but any number more than one is a duplicate. So what we really want to know is when is this greater than one. So right now, if I were to enter this formula, we're going to get true or false um, values. So basically, is this statement true? Is the number of records found on this lookup greater than one? That's only true in 7, 10, and 11, where we have GC. But this also isn't very nice to look at. So the final steps of the formula is to return specific values, such as dupe, if this statement is true, Otherwise, blank. By the way, if you wanted to, this comes down to preference. You could just have the true or false statement, make this a toggle column. And I'm going to have red switches because I like the drama of red switches. And that's another way you can find dupes. Up to you.